And welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Crater Maze. Last, you remember, I was on this stage, stage 40. In this round, well, you're in, we're in the future. We haven't gone to the future. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, yeah, these are one of the stages. You go through the future, you go through the past, you go through present. And, in the, and also in the original... I think what you got was, um... Instead of picking up, um, treasures... Instead, instead of treasures, there was something else, like maybe pies or something. I don't know what it was. It looked like cow pats to me. <laughs> but then again, I wouldn't know. You know why? Because as the underdog of the underrated, I have no idea. Whether or not I have any idea. Oh, what the heck this guy is trying to capture. So it's night. What I think I will do to go along with this to go along with this I will do a little bit different tonight. I think I will bring out um, some CD moon. Since I said I was gonna take a short break from another story. I did say I was going to take a break from another story, but I will come back to it. I'll come back to it. I'm not sure if I will beat it under, under a month, but I know I will come back to it. Now this. Some things just don't need to be cut. So now we are back in the feudal era. Oh! And I lost all my power-ups. It was eventful that that happened. going that way. I should be going this way. Anyway. I'm going some way because I know where I'm going. I'm going to finish up the stage. So, about... About this game, it's like... What would be the most asinine version of Bomberman I've ever played? You do get weapons. In the most asinine way possible. So what has been going on in the world of Izzy? Well, not much has been going on except for what I've been working on my stories. Like I said, to, uh, this weekend, you guys are in for a treat because it will be the first of fanfic theater. That's right, the first episode of fanfic theater, which I will read something from my many stories that I've been working on and in 
since I know the value of a good story, well, I know the value of telling a good story. So, I hope you enjoy fanfic theater. Because, well, I'm pretty excited about it. Somewhere around this weekend, I will do fanfic theater, but know this. You're gonna love the first episode. So now we are on round 41. Are we almost there? Yeah, we're almost there. We're about a quarter away from actually finishing this game. So we are now in the prehistoric era. And Bonk is gonna be pissed. <laughs> if he's not already pissed by eating that piece of meat. Who knew a piece of meat could piss somebody off that damn badly? And though, and those who are new viewers, who come crawling around, who come crawling around my channel, it's just the way I am. So don't take it the wrong way, but that's how I am because. That's how I roll. I have the freedom to express myself, so therefore... No hate mail! <clears throat> so now, we're going to find the Anywhere Door. And using the time space key, we're going to get the HEW hockey sticks out of here. Am I criminally insane? Hell no, I'm not criminally insane. I know where I is. I knows what I do. And I do as a good job of it. Anyway, here we are at round 42, where the lives just don't really matter at this point, just like what I'm doing right now. Because it's a trap em up The only opposite of a shoot -em up Now, that's one thing I kind of miss from this golden age, the golden age of video games. The golden age of video games like this was, well, it was different. You didn't have first person shooters, you basically had this. Something that actually makes you think. And that's what's wrong with games games these days. They don't make you think. Freeze! And these are the games I like. I like games that, you know, make me think. I like puzzle games. I like maze games. Maze games just make me feel all sorts of better about what I'm doing. Because you can actually get lost in this game real easily, and sometimes I want to get lost. <laughs> Call it weird, but yes, I like to get lost.
Would you like to get lost? No, of course not. So don't get lost like me. Just have a good grip of reality and you'll be just fine. So anyway, we're here in... Oh yes, you already know. But we're still back in the future. And soon, this game will take you back to the past. to a time when video games didn't suck ass. Not like LJ anyway. No, but Hudson Soft, they do good games most of the times. Although, the only prime stinker I think, the only prime stinker I think there was in a Hudson Soft game was Mylon Secret Castle. Because it frustrated the hell out of many gamers. Yours truly especially. But you know what? I moved on. <laughs> I've moved on from that, so I'm very happy. And could I ever get tired of this music? Nah, I couldn't get tired. I could dance this music. It feels like island music. Jump with the beat, man. Jump with the beat, man. Why am I going up? Never mind. I was wondering why I was going that way, and then I figured it out. Why am I going that way? There's no real, real, real reason for me to go that way. You want to go that way? Cause we can go that way. And if you're a fan of Squid Billies. Yeah, you're gonna test me! Anyway. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna test to me because I am not early Kyler. Personally, I do like Squid Billies and Aqua Teen Hunger Force. No, Aqualypse is okay. what you call running through the stage. Throwing caution to the wind, just running. Yes, run, Opie. Run home to your daddy. Tell him G.I. Joe is on his way home. which I think I'm just going to just take the time to do. Through the anywhere door! It'll be quick and painless, but I can attest to you. We'll be right back with round 44. 